Hey, what's up? John Sonnemus here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer so i got another question today that came from reach me if you don't know what i'm talking about you can check out my reach me profile here where you can pay to ask me a question uh, it, but it'll guarantee that i'll answer the question and sometimes i'll do a video here so you might get more than you bargain for you can pay for like one minute or five minute or i think a 20 minute answer and it's like i think i charge 35 bucks for one minute which uh, in in the case that i do a youtube video you may get a lot more than, than you pay for but it'll pretty much guarantee that I'll answer the question. Although I may do a one minute answer if it's not gonna be applicable to, to multiple people on the YouTube channel. So I did get this question. I thought this was applicable to some of you, which is about game development and, and your resume. So I thought I'd answer this one here. And this question, I don't have a name, but he says, hi, John, I'm a huge fan of the channel. You're one of my heroes. Cool, that's awesome. Uh, my question, you recommend making apps to use on a resume. There is a program called Game Maker that makes it easy to make 2D games slash apps. Can I use this or should I say make the app 100% using Python's Game Maker? I feel I could be much more successful using Game Maker and even make more money using it if I market the apps on the say iOS store, but GM is not tied specifically towards any code uh, the, the way, let me see, towards any code the way, say, Python Game Maker is. The learning curve is also much greater using a pure programming language to make a game rather than the Game Maker interface, for example. Any help is appreciated. Thank you for everything you do. All right, well, thank you for, for reaching out on Unreach Me and giving me a good question to do a video on. So, here's the thing. Okay, let, let's talk about, I'm, I'm familiar with Game Maker. I've been tempted to make some games with it because it looks pretty damn cool, especially making some RPG games. But, but here's the thing. It depends on what your focus is and what you're trying to do here, right? So everything that we judge, good or bad, should I do this, should I do that? Well, the answer is it depends, and what it depends on is what your end goal is, what are you trying to accomplish? So if you're trying to get a job as a Python developer, okay, or, or is just a, a game developer in, in general, the programming job, I would not use Game Maker to make games. I mean, maybe if you're trying to get a job at a game development studio, but if you're trying to get a, a programming job in general, maybe it's just a, a Python programming job, using Game Maker isn't gonna be very very good because it's gonna be pretty obvious that you didn't have to write very much code, if, if any code. I think, you can do, I think you can do Game Maker games with basically no code. I mean, there's probably some kind of scripting in there to, to control it, but it's, it's probably not the best idea if, if that's what your end goal is. Now, if your end goal is just, I wanna make games, man. I wanna get on the, the app store and become an independent game developer. You can check out some of my videos on game development, by the way. If you're interested in that, I always wanted to be a game developer. If you just want to build games because you want to make some money or you just want to build up a portfolio because you're looking at eventually getting some job as a game designer or working in a game studio in that capacity, not doing some hardcore C++ programming on, on a on the AAA game or whatever it is, an A-rated studio game, then that could make sense as well. Then it would make sense to use Game Maker because that's gonna get you up and, and running quickly as possible, right? You could use something like Unity, Unity 3D to create a game. Game Maker is probably even easier than that and it let, lets you make a you know simple 2D game. You could, by the way, you could use Unity 3D to make a 2D game. Some people don't realize that. It, it's, it's super simple to do that, so don't, 
you know, to consider Unity as well, is what I would say. Again, I don't have a huge amount of experience in either of those, but I have developed some games, like I said. So, so the, the key thing here is really just what is your, your goal here? Again, if your job, if your goal is to get a job as a developer, then go ahead and spend the time if you're creating a portfolio. But my, my point is if you're trying to create a portfolio, the portfolio needs to serve the correct purpose. And so if the portfolio is designed to show that you are a capable programmer so you can get a good programming job, then if there are a bunch of game maker games, that's not gonna fly, right? It needs to be something that you've developed yourself. Now, with that said, de definitely use some kind of a game framework, right? There's game engines out there. Do not invent your own game engine for the most part, especially if you want to be effective. I mean, you could do that for an exercise. Maybe it'd be fun, maybe it'd be cool, and, and you could show that on your, your resume or portfolio. But in general, every single programming platform has some kind of a game engine. I think I even saw like a Go game engine. Someone developed a, a, Go, a game in Go. I'm sure there's there's probably actually more of those and Rust and, and whatnot. But my point is like, don't start from scratch, but do build it with code and then you can show in your portfolio, hey, look, I, I've coded these things up. And so if, you're, if your goal is to be just a Python developer, obviously do it in Python. And maybe if you wanna do some game development on the side, that's cool. Then you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. I call it multi-purposing where you're doing one thing but you're getting multiple outcomes but my, my point here is that you'll you'll be able to sh create a portfolio get some python experience do some python development and also scratch your itch for, for creating a game but again if your if your purpose is just to create games you just want to create games you just want to work at a game studio you are mo more on the game design side then game maker might make more sense because it's going to be easier and faster for you to to create a game Game, but you may be limited in some respect. That's the last thing I'll say about this is that think about how far you want to go with this, right? If you're happy with creating some kind of a JRPG clone and making a 2D game, that's great, okay? That, that's fine, and that's if that you know, floats your boat, cool, that's awesome. Game Maker's probably gonna let you do that. But if you wanna go beyond that, if you wanna create something more than what Game Maker might allow you to do, and you develop your skills in Game Maker and and don't develop your skills in whatever the Python game engine that you're planning on using is, well, then you're, you're gonna be stuck. You're gonna have to retool anyway. So think about it, right? And maybe this is just a good exposure. Maybe doing the game in Game Maker, maybe you start there and you create a game and you just to get the experience of doing one and just feeling what it's like to see if you, this is something that you actually wanna do. And then you go and encode it in Python. There's a, there's a different, definitely a few options here, but my, my biggest piece of advice to you would be to think carefully about what your end goal is and then always work backwards from the end goal. What are the steps that lead to the end goal that make that most effective, right? So go back and say, okay, well, what am I trying to do? And then how's the best way to get there? And so that will help you to inform the decision better than anything else. All right, thanks for the question. Again, you can you can send me a question if you go to my Reach Me profile, it'll be in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button, click the bell if you wanna make sure that you don't ever miss a video. I'll talk to you next time, take care.